Hi, hello guys. Before we move on, uh, let's congratulate our CLAT 2023 toppers. Uh, so here uh, we are here to congratulate AR2 uh, Sahil Gupta, AR37 Pratyush Chaturvedi and AR96 Komal Gadwal. And apart from these three, we had 70 plus NLU admits guys. So 70 plus people from an academy reaching out to NLU. So if you want to be one among them, all that you need to do is subscribe to an academy CLAT channel and do subscribe to an academy platform and attend our plus classes, take mock tests and you will be on the list. And this is not just happened in 2023 season. So we have done it in 2022 as well. So in 2022, we had 45 plus people attending uh, from an academy going to NLUs. And in 2023, we made it double close to 70 plus people going there. Hi, hello guys, I'm Kalyan Charan VSG and today we're going to deal with Prime and Composite and if you have missed out on our previous videos, please go and uh, see it in the description box. Please visit our previous videos to have a clear cut understanding of this chapter. So in today's session, we're going to see Prime and Composite. To start the session with, what is a prime number? If you missed out, on understanding of what is prime number in classification of numbers, the chapter one, we discussed that uh, a number which has only two factors as one and itself is said to be a prime number. So a number which has only two factors as one and itself and what is a factor? We already discussed a number which perfectly divides a given number is said to be its factor. So a prime number is to be having only two factors as one and itself quickly. Help me out with some primes. Yes, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, so on, so forth. Perfect. Now the question comes out, why is 2 a prime? Because it has only two factors as 1 and 2, 3, 1 and 3. And we also discussed that 1 is a factor to every number and the number itself will always be a factor, which means a number should not have any other factor. How to identify whether a number is prime or not? So, for example, 4, how do we check that it is prime or not? So, we need to see what are the factors of 4. 1 into 4 is 4, 2 into 2 is 4. So, now what are the factors of 4? Factors of 4 are 1, 2 and 4. So, since it has 3 factors, which is more than 2 factors, it is called as composite, which means it is a not prime. Guys, so all that we need to do is check out for its factors and if it has more than two factors, then that is a not prime number. Now, this is very clear and understandable. Now, let us come down to how to identify whether a number is prime or not. So, the prime numbers will be of a form 6k plus r minus 1, which means every prime number should be of a format 6k plus r minus 1, where the prime numbers starting from 5. So, 2 and 3 are a basic numbers which everybody know it, right. So, apart from 2 and 3, every other prime number will be of a format 6k plus r minus 1. And remember, every prime number is of a format 6k plus r minus 1, but every number that is of a format 6k plus r minus 1 is not necessarily a prime. Oh my God, what a catch. So, for example, if I say 255, is this prime or not? How do we check? So, for 255, we can say that it is uh, divisible by 1 and 255 for sure. If you are able to identify one more factor of it, we can definitely say whether the number is prime or not. And it has 5 at the flag end. Let us divide it with 5. If I divide it with 5, I get a result 5 into 51. So, 5 is a factor. Since we have identified one more factor, we are sorted since this is not a prime number. So, this rule people say that every prime number is of a format 6k plus or minus 1 is a catch right because every number which is in the format of 6k plus or minus 1 not necessarily a prime all right uh, now let's move ahead and see what are the uh, applications of prime and composite so the very first application of prime and composite is prime factorization
if i say prime factorization what do you mean by prime factorization we already know that what are factors factors are the numbers which perfectly divides right and prime factorization helps us understand what are the prime factors by which a number is composed of if i need to do a prime factorization for 12 how do you start let's start with the smallest possible number what is the smallest possible prime number that we know the smallest possible prime number is 2 Guys, at this juncture, I just wanted to understand quickly what happened to 1. Is 1 a prime number? 1 is so poor that it has only one factor, right? To be eligible for prime, it should have two factors and two distinct factors. Since 1 has only one factor, it is not a prime. Remember guys, 1 is not a prime number. Okay, fine, it is not a prime number. Will it be a composite number? Oh, guys, for composite, it has to have more than two factors. Poor one has only one factor, hence it is not a composite number as well. So, what is the property of one in prime and composite? One is neither prime nor composite. Hence, the least prime in the world, least prime in the world is? 2 and 2 has one more crown. What is the other crown for 2? Is 2 is the only even prime. 2 is the only even prime. Why? For every other prime number, 2 is a factor. Just for 4, for example, we have seen, right? 2 is the only even prime. So, every other prime number is an odd number except 2. All right, one is neither prime nor composite, two is only prime and only even prime and it is the least prime number. Why is it least? Why not zero? Why not minus one? Remember, we discussed this prime and composite exist only for positive integers. Prime and composite exist only for positive integers. Remember, prime is a person who is having a positive attitude right so prime numbers are the numbers which are positive integers all right now let's come back to our story where we are looking at prime factorization prime factorization of 12 we know the least prime is 2 so 2 goes 6 times and 6 further could be divided into 2 into 3 now what are the prime factors of 12 12 prime factors are 2 2 and 3 which means prime factorization is splitting the number into the least prime factors. So, how can I write 12 as? 12 as 2 raised to 2, 3 raised to 1, which means there are two 2's in it and one 3 in it. For example, if you want to do a prime factorization of 18, so where do you start? You start with 2, 9, 9 could be split into 3 and 3. So, how can I write 18? 18 is 2 raised to power 1 and 3 raised to power so, this is the prime factorization. So, prime factors being 2, 3 and 3. Remember, you cannot leave it at any space where it is not a prime number. Now, for example, if there is something called as 51, how do you start? You definitely know that it is not divisible by 2 because it is not ending with an even number. So, let us try with 3. With 3, I get 3 1s are 3, 21, 3 7s are 21. So, 3 and 17. Is 17 a prime number? Yes, because we cannot further split. So, prime factors of 51 are 3 raised to 1 and 17 raised to 1. So, I hope this is very much clear for you how to deal with prime factorization, right? And what are the benefits or what is that we can do with prime factors? If I ask you to find number of factors, right? So, if I ask you to find number of factors of a number, so what are the factors of 12? The factors of 12, we have discussed this in the previous sessions, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. These are the factors of 12 because these are the numbers which perfectly divides 12. So, if I ask you number of factors of 12, we need to do this and calculate and say there are 6 factors, isn't it? Instead, if you do prime factorization, and if you get it as 2 power 2 into 3 power 1, all that you need to do is 
power plus one's product. Power plus one's product, which means two raised to power two. So it is two plus one into one plus one, which is three into two, which is six factors. So number of factors could be found using power prime factors power added by one's product. So, for example, 18, how many factors does 18 have? Now, 2 is raised to power 1, so it is 1 plus 1 and 3 is raised to power 2, so it is 2 plus 1. Remember, you are not taking the prime factor, rather you are taking the prime factor's power. So, which leads to 2 into 3, which means even 18 has 6 factors. Let us quickly check it out. Does 18 has 6 factors? What are the factors of 18? 18 ones are 18. So, it is 1 and 18, it has 2 and 9 and it has 3 and 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18, right. So, these are the 6 factors of 18. We can actually calculate those 6 factors, the number of factors using prime factors power plus 1's product. Now, let us quickly see for 51. How many factors for 51? Please put it in the uh, chart box. Yes, it is 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1, which is nothing but 2 into 2, which gives you 4 factors. Now, let us quickly see what are those 4 factors. It is clear and evident. So, 1, 3, 17 and 51. These are the 4 factors of 51. So, guys, what is the formula to find number of factors? If a number n could be written in the form of p power a into q power b into r power c into s power d, so on and so forth, where p, q, r, s are prime factors, then the number of factors could be found using power plus 1's product. What do you mean by power plus 1's product? a plus 1 into b plus 1 into c plus 1 into d plus 1, so on and so forth. Am I clear with this, guys? So, we can find number of factors using prime factorization for a huge number. For example, now let us quickly do it for 180. For 180, we cannot write things like this because we have 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, so on and so forth. Hence, what we do? We do prime factorization, which is 10 and 18. 10 is 2 and 5. 18 is 2 and 9. 9 is 3 and 3. So, I can write 180 as 2 power 2, 3 power 2 and 5 power 1. Correct? So, now how many factors are there? It is 2 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 into 1 plus 1, which makes it 3 into 3 into 2, which is 18 factors are there for 180. So, that is uh, about prime factorization and finding number of factors using prime factorization. So, guys, uh, this is all about today, about prime composite and prime factorization and finding number of prime factors. So, see you all in the next chapter. Uh, in the next video, we are going to discuss about uh, multiples and factors. Stay tuned. Let us crack it. Let us focus on CLAT 2024 20, and see you all.